Hey, if you like my videos, a like and subscribe goes a long way to supporting me. So today we're going to go over how to sum based on a dropdown. My last couple of videos, we've done a couple of videos about dropdowns. So we have the fruit list here and we have the fruit price per fruit. And so I already made the dropdown. You can check previous videos on how to do that. So now we're going to use the sum if function to sum um, depending on the dropdown. So I'm going to do sum if right here, click tab. The range will be the fruit list. And then I'm going to do comma. The criteria is just going to be the dropdown box. And then comma, I'm going to do the fruit price right here, which is the sum range. And so let me just get rid of this really fast. Just go up and do the sum range. Oops, see sometimes it messes up, but you got to do the sum range. And I'm going to click enter. And right now it's showing zero because nothing was selected, but now I'm going to select orange and it's showing $4 for all the oranges. And there's four oranges, so that makes sense. Apples, as you can see, it takes all the apples and the price per apple and then sums it up. So this is very helpful if you're doing budgets or if you need to just know the, the sums of specific items. I, I love this function right here and I use it all the time. Thanks for watching.